We're here at the Brighton Lab at Sandia National Laboratories, where we're working to develop the technology required for a supercritical carbon dioxide Brighton cycle, or SCO2 Brighton cycle. So a Brighton cycle is a thermodynamic power cycle which takes heat and generates electricity. And we do this using carbon dioxide, or CO2, as a working fluid in its supercritical state, so elevated above its critical temperature and pressure. This allows us to achieve very high densities and very low compression power, which results in a very highly efficient thermodynamic power cycle. It also allows us to do dry heat rejection, so we don't need water for the heat rejection, and it allows us to couple this cycle with a wide variety of heat sources. While we're primarily funded by the Office of Nuclear Energy to couple this technology with a nuclear reactor, we could also couple this with uh, concentrated solar power, uh, waste heat recovery, or even fossil fuels like natural gas or coal. In 2012, Sandia installed the first of a kind supercritical closed loop recompression closed Brayton cycle. It then was commissioned in 2013, where experiments occurred all the way through 2018. In 2018, Sandia took a step back and tried to figure out why the technology hadn't been commercialized yet. To expedite commercialization, Sandia then released an RFI to private industry, trying to figure out what it needs to be developed in order to commercialize the technology. Four main topics came up bearings, seals, rotating turbo machinery, and advanced power electronics. Some of our recent accomplishments that we've had at the Brayton Laboratory is operating a turbo compressor in excess of 500 hours. We've tested dry gas liftoff seals at 4,000 PSI at 700 degrees Celsius. We've successfully partnered with private industry to demonstrate magnetic bearings and porous media bearings. Also, a recent milestone that Sandia has just accomplished is rejecting power on the Sandia Kirtland Air Force Base grid. Sandia produced power for approximately one hour, with its peak power production being at 10 kilowatts for about 10 minutes. Looking to the future, Sandia is planning on adding testing capability by building a new loop that is capable of going to higher power levels as well as higher temperatures and pressures. Additionally, we'll continue testing on our existing rigs to optimize control strategies as well as test new technologies as they come along. Ultimately, Sandia is very excited to help our industry partners to commercialize this technology. We believe it can have a significant impact in helping to reduce carbon emissions from the electricity generation sector.